the black solo loop from Apple. This one's one of the new types of watch bands everyone's curious about. I did an unboxing video of this last weekend. Link in the description if you missed it. It's $49 and is available in all sizes for all generation Apple watches. I'll be giving you my honest review, including matching watch faces, practicality, and what to wear with it to help you see if it works for you or not. Give it a like if it helps and subscribe for more. Let's see what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You thought the sport band was simple. Apple does it again with their most minimal design yet with this solo loop. Black and white are the safest colors out there. So this black should make for a good default band for most occasions. Do note that it isn't as deep as the black sport band, which isn't a bad thing because it gives it a matte black look. It's almost identical to the sport bands, but without a buckle. It's super stretchy and feels like silky smooth premium rubber. To find your fit, use Apple's online fitting guide that you print out. FYI for the 38 and 44 millimeter watch, right now I haven't seen anything under size four. It looks like it runs big and I am hearing that from a lot of reviewers too. So if you like it snug, get a size down from whatever measurement you got. After sliding in both ends, just put it on how you would a stretchy bracelet or rubber band by putting your hand through. Now that putting it on is just one step, it's a lower risk of dropping your watch. After a while, I noticed it didn't really move around so much, so maybe I just wear my sport bands tight. Keep in mind it can move down to your hand if you move super vigorously. Though the past couple weeks, I worked out in it several times and it was still comfortable and secure. Also really light. I still get a size down though because I like it snug. If only Apple went below a size 4 for the 44mm. So if you have a 40 or 38mm watch, you can go lower. Just like the sport band, sweating's fine for me, but it's not as breathable as the sport loop, which is made of nylon fabric. I don't mind getting it wet because it easily wipes off. Also don't buy a third party solo loop or this will happen on your second try on. This loop is a dust magnet. I find myself wiping it off once in a while because it's so dark, anything on it is visible, especially dust. Not all of it comes off too. I don't know if it's my natural oils or something from the counter or nature, but it doesn't seem to come off, even with soap and water of all strengths. So keep this in mind. When dressing for anything but formal, I use this as my default band. You can sometimes even get away with a semi-formal. Activewear is my favorite with it because it's light and comfortable. Casual wear is also good. It's a solid color, so you can get away with any pattern or texture. Same for watch faces. It's a solid black color, so it's the easiest thing to match. You can basically choose anything you prefer. I personally like dark watch faces with my black watch bands. But sometimes I like a pop of color. This makes it flexible to match a watch face to your mood. And now Apple has more options than ever. In conclusion, I love the clean, minimal look and how it matches almost everything. I want to switch to buying solo loops instead of sport bands in the future. If only they had that size 3 for my watch. I hope this helped. If so, support this channel with a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.